Hello everyone, this is going to be the second part of my videos about how to pull data from Microsoft Excel into Microsoft Word. And the second part is going to be about relative paths. So I have here a folder I already created. I call it Excel to Word. This is root and then Excel to Word dash relative paths. So I have here an example of a subfolder and I'm going to also use this root source somewhere in the destination. So this is actually quite easy. So let's get started, save some time. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm gonna give you a brief summary of what you need to do. So this is a field code. Remember, these are not regular curly brackets. Watch my first video if you want to know more information. So those are between the quotation marks where after you refresh the file name, it's going to show you the full path. You are going to replace everything between the quotation marks with another field code, file name, backward slash P. And then here you were going to point to the correct folder where contact.xl xlx is located. And then you save and you don't refresh. So here are here is the explanation for what those things do. So file name backward slash p gets the full path to the file. So here is the example like this folder subfolder contact. So this is the file name. So backward slash, double backward slash, dot, dot, ignores the file name contact.xls and keeps the files path only. So it would look like this. And the second one, I just, I'm just writing here as an example. If you want to go one further up, the gray one here, so every time you use, each time you use one of those double backward slash dot dots, you are going to go one folder up. So here, let's pretend I have a file called balance xlsx, um, one folder above, right? So you would be calling this information from this file here. And normally, as you do with everything on your computer, we have a regular double backward slash every time you need to go one folder down. So here in this example, I have a folder, this folder, the same folder here, but then I have a, a different parent folder, then I have a child folder and something in that folder. So that's it, that's about it. And then you save and you don't refresh. So if you wanna know why you cannot refresh and that's all about creating templates. You stay with the video. I'm going to give you some explanation. If you like the video so far, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment if you need to know something else or if I should improve in something. And that's it. Let's move on to the explanations. So if you watch the first video, this is the exact same file I was working with. So I'm going to press Alt F9 to show field codes. And you can see that this information here came from this file, which is in this folder. And it is called con the Doc document name is contact.xlsx and it's coming from sheet one, row three, column four. And we have all those uh, switch codes here. And it, in the other video, I talked about how important this is, uh, backward slash T to add text only. So, yeah, so we're going to start working on this file here. I'm going to explain what this is for later. This is, I'm going to call it a, a dummy 
execute code. So let's just start with the first one here. So here is how you are going to make this a relative path. Toggle field codes without F9. Then I have here where my file is at. So what you are going to do is you delete everything, right? Let me just create the code here first. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here under insert. Then you are going to go here under quick parts and field. So you're going to insert a field. You click here and you are going to search for file name. Yes, here. And you're going to click add to add path to file name. Okay. And you are going to get this with the field codes switched on. So let me show you how it looks like. So this is where this file is at, right? The file we're working with, destination.docx. Now, what you are going to do here, and that, and this is the same thing as pressing Ctrl F9 and typing everything yourself. Okay, and you don't need this merge format here because you already have a merge format there. Okay, so to make it easy, instead of typing here, you are going to copy this or cut, if you will, and you are going to replace everything between the quotation marks like this. And you have to pay attention to this. You have to do a double backward slash dot dot or period period to break the file name. So here, let me show you what this does here. I have a file name and a path. And what it is showing here is Excel to Word, blah, 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 right? If I remove the path, this is what it is going to show. F9, uh, you select everything, and F9 is uh, the refresh to update the field. So this is the file name, right? So what I want, oops, out F9. So what I, uh, what I want is the path. Then I want the file name to be deleted because I want to get the path where this file is at. So you write a double backward slash period period or dot dot. Then, yeah, then that's it. Then you are going to create the path to the file you want. So you need another backward slash T. Sorry, I did not explain it well. So this is basically deleting the name of the file here, destination.docx, and getting the path only. So now I have that information came from contact.xlsx. And I am going to write here contact.xlsx, right? And that's it. I'm going to delete this. And let's see if the code is working. Let me refresh with F9. I made a mistake somewhere. Let me take some time to fix it. This was the mistake. So if you if you need something to compare, it's here. I was adding only one backward slash, should add two. So there you go. Okay. Now let's see if it's working. You have to press F9. All right. So it's working. But if you press Alt F9, you are going to see that these got deleted. So this is going to work only once. Control Z. Control Z. So this is going to work only once. And I'm going to explain why this is important in a bit. So 
Let me just finish doing the same thing for all those next field codes here. And then we talk, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's have a look here at how we got it. I decided to highlight so you can see some things. So here I have contact, but here I have balance. So I'm pulling information from two different Excel files, right? So to backward slash dot dot to remove the file name and just get the path, right? So I did this in everything in my files here, everything in my document here. And yeah, so if you watch my previous video, you're gonna, we don't need to discuss this right now, just watch it. And here is how you're going to pull data from a folder above or two folders, as many folders as you want. So I have here information from a subfolder called subfolder one and information from a folder above. I highlighted in yellow here what is different from this one. So the first two backwards slash dot dot remove the file name. The second two backwards slash dot dot or third, fourth and so on is going to be, is going to go one folder above, right? And then we have here the double backward slash to point to the file name. Uh, double backward slash, that's because only one backward slash is reserved for field code switches, right? So then I had here my scrambled report. Now, I am going, I have a dummy field code here because, yeah, let me change it to this. And then double backwards slash, okay. That's because it, if in case you forget what F9 does, uh, when you right click here, you don't see an edit field, an update field code, but if it's, because it's a link, right? This is a link, but here is an include text and you can see the update field codes. So if you select control A and you right click here, now it is going to say update field code, which was not, and it's not going to say it if you just right click on the links, right? But since there is one field code included, doesn't matter where you click, it is going to be saying update field. And if you do it, it is basically the same thing as pressing F9. Okay, so let me show it as a field code. I think I updated this by mistake. It should be, let me fix this real quick. On MP dot backward slash dot dot and contact. All right. All right. Contact or contacts? Contact. Okay. Now I'm going to save this and let me change the name of the folder to show you that it doesn't matter. It is going to work with relative paths, no matter if you share it with your team. Let me explain the importance of this first. In my line of work, I have some clients and I can have some template folders. So if I copy and paste this folder, I can call it client one, and I can rename this to template folder and relative paths. Okay, so I have client one. Each client, I spend about 14 hours of work and I have to write several letters and I have to write every single time the contacts, the names, um, their positions, their addresses. And, you know, can easily spend 40 minutes writing an email. So that saved me about four hours per client. So my 
my time went down from 14 hours to 10 hours on average per client, right? So there you go. I just copied here from the template folder. I renamed both. And this, you just keep the template folders as they are, right? And I'm going to work on this one. Let me copy and paste this one. So if you have a client to, right? Because one limitation of this method is that it is only to, going to work once, right? And you cannot share this template with your team unless you're using relative paths because for sure in most computers it is going to be using C and then uh, username and then documents, right? So every username is different. So there's no way you can share this thing with anyone. Okay, now let's see if it's working. I am going to select everything and I'm going to press F9. And yeah, you're not going to see any difference uh, here. You're going to see that it worked. Um, let me just show you why it only works once. That's because when it's a link, every time you update it, you change it from, let me do it with the field codes uh, toggle on. You have to press Ctrl Z every time because Word updates one at a time, right? So once again, oh, that's something interesting too. If you right click here, it doesn't show update field. But if you right click right on, uh, right on file name, it is going to be showing you the option to update field. So, but if you update this one, it doesn't change the file name. Right, so let me again, control A, F9, update everything, and it works. If it didn't, it would be showing me an error, right? But this one remains as a file name. That's why I said it only works once, right? So let me scroll down to see if I got any errors. Here's the information from the folder above, the information from the subfolder. Now, let me prove to you that everything is working. Save, so that's, uh, let's go subfolder, subsource. Uh, okay, let's say, my video subfolder, something like that. Let me go one folder above, so it's, under, it's in the root source, and that's going to be changed to all files because as you could see here this root source is above client one client two and yeah and even the template so let me change this to is a company's message for this month whatever I couldn't think of anything better all right now let's go back to the file here again let's select everything F9 and it's working here. Let me toggle the field codes back. And there you go. Now you see that it works. And that's about it for the video. If you think that's useful for you or if you learned something today, I ask that you please uh, give me a thumbs up or leave me some comments to know how I could uh, do better next time. And if you could help my channel, please consider subscribing just to help it a little bit and yep yeah, thank you very much